Fed Chair Jay Powell pushing back against expectations of a rate cut, speaking at Spelman College this morning. This comes as bond investors grow increasingly concerned about the ability for the Fed to deliver that soft landing. Last month, U.S. Treasury bonds tracked its biggest drop in yield since August of 2011. So can we expect more upside in the new year? Let's bring in Lindsay Rosner, Goldman Sachs Asset Management Head of Multi-Sector Fixed Income Investing, uh, joining us to weigh in this morning. Good to talk to you today. Let me just get your reaction to what we're hearing from the Fed chair. On the one hand, we heard from Fed officials earlier this week sort of setting the expectation here that things may be done in terms of rate hikes. And yet here you've got the Fed chair himself saying not so fast. Well, I think they have to be careful, right? It's been very difficult to figure out the perfect trajectory of how inflation is going to go and how the economy is going to respond to rates being higher. So I think uh, Powell is doing exactly what he needs to do, which is say, we have to look at the data. We have to be open to what happens next. That being said, we believe at Goldman that July was, in fact, the last hike and that we are seeing a soft landing. Um, the recession probability has come down. All of this provides a beautiful backdrop for fixed income heading into 2024. Yeah, so how do you see that backdrop playing out? I mean, if you were a bond investor earlier this year, you saw some big gains. Especially November has been not only a great month, as you were speaking before about equities, it's been a really strong month for bonds as well. It's taken total return in many cases to positive on the year. Um, and as you go further out the risk spectrum into things like high yield, bank loans even better. Uh, how we think this all plays out going forward in 2024 is we're in a very different spot right now than we were at the beginning of 2023. And what I mean by that is that we have duration as our friend. Said another way, interest rate sensitivity, how that can affect your portfolio, the downside is much smaller than the potential upside. And that asymmetry is a good one. And so for bond investors, we think that you're looking at a year of numbers like 5 or 6% total return in high quality fixed income. And if you want to go into the lower rated companies, you can be looking at returns like 8, 9, 10%. That's a great place to be. And fixed income is supposed to be a good ballast in your portfolio. And we think you're really going to see that this year. And that therefore 2024 is in fact the year of the bond. So we can talk a bit more about what you think that bond or, or that fixed income mix should look like in the portfolio. But as we track Treasury yield today, I mean, we have seen a, a huge pullback, at least in the month of November. Where do you expect them to track, at least in the medium term? Is this this talk about a 5 percent yield sort of done for now? I think at this point in time, we're going to trade in a range. And 5% and does feel like something of the past and that where we are now feels like the right zip code, especially in the front end of the curve, so the shorter yield. Um, why those yields have come down is because we're starting to see data that's really corroborating the soft landing story, meaning that the Fed has sufficiently tightened policy, that they have brought down inflation, but they haven't crushed the economy. That was really the concern that led to the move up in yields, that, oh, no, inflation is really out of control. How's the Fed going to respond? Where are we going from here? Now we're seeing that this is all really working, and I think Powell will be corroborating that today. So now the economy feels OK, and the market feels more confident that the Fed can say the job of hiking is done, and now they have to figure out how long they're going to hold. And our belief is that there are maybe a few too many hike, uh, cuts, I'm sorry, priced into the market, but that by the back half of 2024, the Fed can begin to bring down that policy rate because it was restrictive enough. So we think as a result, yields in the front end are probably going to come a little bit lower. But what we do think is yields in the back end of the curve may move higher. And so you're going to get that yield curve steepening that we've been seeing. As a result, we think it's very important to have an active manager in fixed income to make sure you pick the right parts of the curve to set you up for how this next year is going to play out. So, Lindsay, given your expectations going into 2024, what, what does that fixed income portfolio look like? I mean, you already mentioned sort of the, the longer end of the yield curve, one way to play it, but corporate bonds as well. What's that mix for you? Sure. So our, our mix that we think is going to perform best 
is really intermediate, high quality fixed income. That is an area of the fixed income market. We're talking investment grade corporates, agency mortgage backed securities, high quality structured products, all different flavors of investment grade high quality bonds in somewhere between the five to 10 year uh, duration or part of the curve. That will give you something like five to 6% yield. And that should be really attractive. So being in that middle part of the curve and getting a good mix, a diversified group of assets will serve you well. Certainly a lot of people taking notes after the year we've had. Lindsay Rosmer, Goldman Sachs Asset Management, head of multi-sector fixed income investing. Good to talk to you on this Friday. Have a good weekend. Thanks for having me. You as well.